What's going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. I'm having a pretty decent week. It is midnight, and we are back on Astroneer. And we got a lot of work to do today. Plain and simple. So let's just get down to it. No more funny business, except for the fact that I got rid of that tree. Heck yeah, I was able to get rid of it. All I did was just run up to the side of it and start pushing it. And it literally, like, ran through the base and way out there. I ran it way out there. Because I actually stopped short and it ended up rolling backwards. Um, you know what? These rocks are really driving me nuts. And I can't get rid of them. You're supposed to be able to... Um, bring down the, the 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 land around them and they'll they'll dislodge and they'll disappear but you can't do that with this gray this gray land that's that's right around here and it's driving me freaking nuts and I've got one over here that actually is on a couple of our 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 slots that are here and I wanted to put storage here but I don't know if I can do that now you know what let's let's find out but before we do anything I think one of the first things that we really need to do is we need to be build a really big battery um, and with that basically we need lithium and I've gone ahead and I put in some uh, hydrazine for the lithium so we can get two lithium because for one of these big batteries it takes two lithium so we'll go ahead and send that off uh, we also need some copper, and as you can see, I've done a little bit of harvesting. Um, I've got some, and I actually did harvesting. I didn't trade for it. I did some compound harvesting. Uh, so we can make some storage, basically, is what I want to do. One of the things I want to do. Uh, let's grab a couple of these copper. In fact, I want to grab three copper because I told you guys in the last episode I wanted to make... Another with these generators. So here's another generator, and here comes our lithium. So let's go ahead and grab. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're full. I can't be doing that. I gotta watch what I'm doing here. Okay, we're gonna put our other generator, our organic generator, right there. And uh, then we have power when there's no wind and there's no solar power. So let's go ahead and grab. Let's see. Do I have enough? Yeah, I got one space open. Freaking hell! I am completely and utterly full in my backpack okay so we'll go let's see shift click shift click and we'll make a battery and we'll put it over on this node way over here the very last node and this thing's really nice because when you absolutely need power quickly it should have a backup charge for you now Every time that you use something, yes, it's going to pull power from it. But this thing stores so much power, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so we got power going to that. And when that's full, then this thing will start to charge up real nice and neat for us. Uh, we also wanted to do the fuel condenser. So let's go ahead and put some... Am I out of... Did I lose a copper? Because I know I had three copper. Oh, no. There it is right there. Do Okay, let's drop that, shift click it, and shift click that, and go ahead and build our second fuel condenser. Hell yes! Now we need to put some storage on these bad boys. So let's move these hydrazine in here, and let's go over to here and see if we can make... See, there's a seat, there's a solar panel. Let's see if we can make a few storage. And I, like I said, I, I went and I got a whole bunch of compound, like ridiculous amounts of compound. And I actually found it around the base. I didn't need to trade for it, so that's always a good thing. So we'll start off by putting one storage on each one of these. Um, let's see. Okay, this thing's powering up real quick. Can we get some some wind power going on here? Do we have anywhere we can put it? No, not there. We need to get some wind power going tonight. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Right there. We got a little bit of power coming from that. Good, 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 good. Okay, so wind turbine. Oh, wind turbine is this. I thought it was making a wind turbine. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, can we take... Uh, shift. I'm holding shift. Maybe my keyboard wasn't registering it. See, I don't think I can put two... Oh, that's kind of ugly as hell, isn't it? Um, let's do this. Let's grab backpack full. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Wait, I need to move this over here. Move this over here. 
and then we'll put this right here. This rock is actually hiding a compound, and I'm kind of irritated by it, to be honest with you. Actually, let's do that. Let's go there, there. Oh, no. See, and I can't click. Okay. So we got power. Oh, see? Here, the battery's, the battery's being charged up. See how much freaking power that does? I think it actually holds enough for two full platforms. So let's test that out real quick. Let's make some hydrazine. Now, the nice thing about these storage is when your machine is full, it'll flip over and it will actually... You can, and what's cool is you can also pick up the storage with your stuff on it too. But it'll see how fast that's recharging. And then once it's once you got like an item hydrazine on your actual machine, you click it. God, why are you keep going the opposite way of the storage? Stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, see it did it again. Normally it'll just automatically come over here and fill up the storage. Um, but it's being a little bit of uh, a pain in the butt today I'm not sure why but yeah when this thing gets full it'll go over to that side so we needed to do that for those we also need storage for man our wind turbines going like hell now isn't it holy crap okay so we needed storage for this because I do not want a chance losing any more you know rare metals uh, can we take that, put that there? I need to get a whole bunch of this crap out of my freaking inventory. And let's make one more for this. Um, I actually want to make two for this, to be honest with you. I just don't know if I've got enough compound for it yet. Uh, okay, so we got one there. Good. Now we can start putting a whole bunch of crap on here. Alright. Getting a little bit of space going. We'll put our rare metals over here. This goes over here. All right. Excellent. Okay. Can we make one more for right over on this side? We don't need one for the trade flat platform. The trade platform. Wow. I almost said it wrong a couple of times. Um, so we'll just go ahead and throw one right there. Good. Now we've got plenty of space to put. It, and we can actually move this aluminum over here. And I think we're pretty much set up. We don't. I, I, eventually, I want to get some more storage for these, but that's not really a bigger deal right now. So now that we've got that done, I think it's time. And that actually happened a lot faster than I thought it was going to happen. So I think it's time for us to build a rover. Now we don't have the truck yet. The truck, um, and we could also do a shuttle if we wanted to. Problem is, is the shuttle is in the way. It lands in the way, so you have to take off and then you have to land like five miles away and then walk your butt here, and that just kind of sucks. Um, I might end up instead of building a shuttle first, I might end up build a habitat when we get the habitat um, recipe and build a habitat over here somewhere around this compound sign which actually doesn't have any compound over here. But I might build it over here and then build another vehicle bay over here, and that's where I'll build the shuttle. That way it'll park itself there every time we land back home, and we don't have to work, work it what bit. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we don't have to worry about it parking its butt back here in front of this thing. Um, so I think we should do a rover. Whoa. Sometimes when you right-click just to move the camera, it just spins around like that. It drives me nuts. Uh, do we have enough? One, two, wait, whoa, wait, stop. One, two, three, four. Okay. We've got enough for the rover. Hell yes. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I think I'm out of compound. Yes, we're out of compound. Okay, so let's do this. Let's. Can we trade for compound? Let's go ahead and make some more fuel. And let's trade for compound. We need some compound coming in. Because um, we need to make a seat. Now here's the thing. There's two ways to actually make the seat on this game. There's this way, which takes two compound. Which I don't think I have. No. I've got to wait for that to come back. But there's also another way to do it. And you can actually make the seat over here on uh, the... the uh, the vehicle bay the problem is is this seat is permanent it will not let you move it last time I checked uh, and it doesn't allow us to do anything else so we need to actually find the storage as well um, I think the storage is a recipe but I'm why am I always stuck on those I think the storage is a recipe but I'm not 100% sure so 
we got our compound. Let's go ahead and we want... We don't want to build the seat over here. Plain and simple. Because eventually I might use that, that rover as just a trailer for the truck. And I'll go over those a little bit more later. But I want to make a seat over here. And let's go ahead and make our seat. And then we'll just swing that over onto our... Uh, what the heck's it called? Rover. That's what it is. I actually made us a jump for the rover, too. <laughs> oh, and I didn't even think about that. We need... Okay, why are you trying to put it sideways like that? Oh, oh there we go. There we go. All right, tab. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we got ourselves a rover. Rover, red rover. Okay, so we need uh, some power for this bad boy. Now, a lot of people, the first thing they do is they make a really big power power module for these. Uh, or the truck or whatever. They don't need it. Plain and simple. They do not need those big power thingamabobbers. What do we need for a wind vane? Let's, we need a small wind vane, too. We do have one aluminum, right? Uh, yeah, I see people put like storage on it and then they put like all this power and stuff. It's just like you don't need it really. Uh, where did that one aluminum go? Did we already use it? No, it's right there. No, just shift click. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's do this. We'll first make the wind vane for it. Now you can actually put like the wind vanes on the front and the back of it. I don't know. The problem is, is when you put it on the front like this, and then you get close to a node like this over here where it would normally attach to, it'll attach, and then it, your wind vane will just flip off, and it's just it's just annoying to deal with. So I don't even deal with it. I put it back there, and then we could do. Maybe we do need a storage on there. That way. Can we place Okay, can we place these on regular storage and have it actually work? Yes, we can. Okay, so we need another storage. First we need another solar power. And then we need another storage. Where where's the printer? There's the printer right there. Solar panel. No. Storage. Okay. So we'll go there and there. And it never hurts to have too much storage, so we're not going to worry about having too much storage. That'll actually be nice for us. That'll be good. Alright, so we got that going. Now let's go ahead and throw it there. And the wind vane there, which is now powering it. Awesome. And we'll put the solar panel next to it. And then we need to make... I also want to make a generator for it because why not have all three types of and we don't have any more copper do we uh, okay so can we just do this and then do what is it organic laterite malachite malachite we'll send that off and while that's off having fun I see a lot of people that actually like to to build two rovers and then to tow them behind each other, that's fine. That's not a big deal. But honestly, they're really slow when you do it like that. If you're going to make it a little bit faster, it's better to do um, the truck and then the rover behind that. I see people doing two trucks, one one trailer and one truck, and that's the same thing. You're just gonna, it's just gonna end up being, you know, too 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 slow. I shouldn't really talk though because the ones the, the, the way that I actually do it I actually do two where did the jump go it was like right over here a second ago oh right there do I wanted to jump this thing this, it's actually pretty quick it's actually pretty fast but yeah um the the truck the way I do oh oh and by the way guys the directional driving on this game for the trucks and the rovers is horrendous it needs to be fixed so bad and let me show you why check it out okay so normally at this point the truck is or the, the the rover is facing us right if I press W I should go forward but it, it your directionals aren't based off of um, they're not based off of the direction the truck is or the the truck or the rover is actually facing it's the direction of the camera so my camera is facing to the back of the truck if I hit W 
it'll actually go backwards and it's supposed to go forward. See? Look at that. If I hit S, which is supposed to go backwards, it'll go freaking forward. It's really freaking awkward the way it is. It's, it's all based off of the camera. If I press it to this way and I press W, it turns. And it's not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to turn it. It's really annoying. They need an overhaul of the rovers and they need an overhaul of the trucks. So if you want to actually be able to drive this thing decently... Oh, and by the way, the backing up is completely opposite too. So that's really annoying. But if you want to drive it decently, you pretty much have to put your camera where you want, which direction you want to go in. And then just go straight. So. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, we're flipping it. We're flipping it. <laughs> Normally you got, oh, yeah, he fell out. Look at that. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Mystic Nightmare Rally in the freaking Rover, baby. Oh, oh, no, see, you're supposed to be turning. I'm pressing the turn button, and you're not turning. Why aren't you turning? All right, let's go back. I don't think we're going to make it over at this side. Oh, we are. Oh, that's the worst jump ever. It's like the first thing it does is flip you over. <laughs> okay, so is our is our generator done for the rover? I think... Or not the generator. Done. It wouldn't be done, but yeah. Let's get out. We've got our malachite here. Now we need to make... We need to, 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 to smelt it down and then make a generator here. Let's see if this, this thing kicks it out. To the, no, it doesn't kick it out at all. Okay, so let's make our generator. And now we've got all of the power we need. And we've got the storage. Now, a lot of people are claiming that, oh, yeah, the, the rovers and the trucks are glitched. Uh, they kind of are when it comes down to, like, um, what are they called? Uh, the, the, the unknown elements. And I don't... Um, maybe we should go down to our cave and I'll show you. But the unknown elements, the, it... it it kind of flips out the, the vehicles, but it doesn't actually flip them out unless you put storage on the vehicles. And then, oh, wow, look at that canyon. That's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't actually flip them out unless you put storage on it, and then you put the unknown element on it. So let's see if we can find, is there unknown elements under here, under these trees? Maybe we should go make, should we make another one? Because like I said, when you make two in a row, like, if you do two trucks and you do two rovers, they're just wonky as hell. They just, they're slow. And the only way that I can find to speed it up is to use a truck as your actual, um, as your actual engine, you know, to, to pull the, the rovers. And uh, I need a place to back in here just in case. Okay, so we only have, we don't have any compound to make another one, do we? No, we don't. Can we trade for some? And let's use some power. So we need one, two, three, is it four for the... Because either way, the nice thing... Oops. Let's do this. Three, four, we'll bring this back and we'll get compound. Where's our compound? There we go. Oh, that's eight. We don't need eight. That's, whoa. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, just put those back out of there. Get them out of our inventory. We'll get four. And then we'll just make another one of these really quick. Just to show you how slow they are. Because it, it, it's bad, guys. It's just, I don't, I don't like pulling a rover with a rover. i just rather have the truck and do it with the truck. Um... Either way, maybe we... Oh, we should have done eight. Because we needed storage. Oh, really? Really? We're going to have a... We're going to have a storm right now. Wonderful. Fan-freaking-tastic. Storm time. Okay, what just happened? Oh, it put it in my backpack and then it glitched it out. Look at that. That's stupid. Okay, so there. And we had one more compound sitting on the ground over here. And I have a feeling that the wind or... That other crap blew it away. Son of a biscuit eater. Are you kidding me? It was sitting right here. The wind must have blown it away. Damn it. Okay, finally got our compound. I went out and gathered some. It was just right over the, the hill. We ran into it when we did our first test drive. So, oh, there it is right there. 
It's shit. It's glitched inside. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, yeah. Okay, screw it. Let's build the rover. See, that is really dumb that that's right and glitched inside the freaking thing and I, there's no way I can get to it. Damn it. Okay, so one seat. Okay, so there is a, the storage is actually a recipe. Um, so we don't have that recipe yet. I need, basically, we need to take an episode and just do as much harvesting for, okay, so everything's backwards. As much harvesting for uh, for tech as we can, and now I got to hit forward because my cameras. Why are you going? Why are you turning? I'm not telling you to turn. Stop turning. Stop turning. Okay, so let's get out and back in. Oh, see how freaking slow that is? It sucks. Actually, that's not bad, really. Of course, when you get your storage and everything on the back, then it gets pretty slow. But um, that's not actually too bad when you don't have anything on it, I guess. Yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. I just remember it being so much slower when I played in my other game. So I guess that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't know, I just feel like the truck is still better. The truck pulling, you know... There's some com more compound. The truck pulling um, a trailer. I think that just comes off as better. Should we jump this? <laughs> Should we, I got to get a good running start at it if we're going to jump it. Let's do that. <laughs> you got to be careful with these trailers around trees, too. They can pull uproot the trees and pull them out. Okay, why are you going so slow? Stop going so slow. Oh, oh, we're not going to... There's no way we're going to get up to speed. No way. Oh! 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 <laughs> that was awesome! You made it! That was so cool! Okay, so these trailers actually have... Um, they have double... What are called double connections. Uh, if you look at, like... Okay, the, the trailer that we're on right now... Uh, the, the storage... You see how these, these aren't connected? And you see how these are connected? Okay, these are for two spotted, uh, two or four um, areaed items that can be clicked in there. So when you get an unknown element that actually wants to cooperate... Come on, dude. Okay, so when you grab an unknown element and you're not stuck in the ground... It won't stick to the regular storage, but it will stick to these. Now, everybody's saying, as soon as you put this unknown element on here, it's going to wig out. Oh, look, it didn't wig out. Um, is there another one of these? Oh, there is, I think. Can we go over here? Please tell me there's another. I, I swear there's supposed to be unknown elements under this thing. Maybe not. Fine, be that way. Maybe we can find something in here real quick. Dude! What in the hell? Guys, we just found a dead body. We just found a dead body. <gasps> that is cool. I've never seen that in the game. He's got extra tanks. He's got... Oh, that is so messed up. Hi, how are you? You're dead. That sucks. I'm sorry. That really sucks. Uh, let's, you know what? There you go. Proper burial, kind of, but not really. Now I'm running out of freaking, I'm running out of oxygen. We found another player, guys. We found a dead body up here. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. That is awesome. I didn't even know they were in the game like that. Let's go back down. I'm going to go back down and get another one of these things. All right, guys. We found another one. 
Let's test this out. If it's true that these things wig, it's not true. See, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure as soon as you put in the big storage on any one of the vehicles and you start putting these unknown research elements on there, that's when they wig out. So it's not... It's not the vehicles themselves that wig. It's the storage on the vehicles that needs to be fixed. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the episode. I can't believe we found another freaking, well, a dead body. Anyway, that's kind of messed up. But it should make for some good views. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming out the channel and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a good time. I know I had a pretty good time. Keep gaming. Keep doing it at midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care and have a good one.